Hi, this is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer, and this is the conversation. It's based on, I heard this today from a business professional who I said, just go ahead and use your LinkedIn network and find somebody who can introduce you to that guy. And he said this, but Teddy, I don't really know my LinkedIn network well. That was really a bold statement to say. However, this is not unusual. I see this all the time. People who have medium to large LinkedIn networks, often the ones with the largest LinkedIn networks, and they have no connection, no real relevance, no re relationship of any type with their LinkedIn network. And that is a serious problem and a loss of a great opportunity. And this happens when people haphazardly accept invites. They get an invitation, they don't look for relevance, they don't look for purpose, they don't look for how they can help that person or how that person can help them, and they just simply hit the accept button over and over and over again. The other reason why this happens is because People get on LinkedIn and they find someone on there that they want to connect with that they hope they can sell their widget to, or you know, for whatever reason, they find somebody they want to connect with and that person doesn't know them, and but yet they send the invite out and the other person on the other end just haphazardly accepts it. And this also happens because LinkedIn members get on there and they connect and then they do nothing else. They do nothing else. The majority of LinkedIn members today will accept an invite. We'll send out an invite that gets accepted and then they do nothing. There's no engagement. There's no relationship development. And then they wonder, why am I doing this? How is this LinkedIn network helping me? So how do we fix this? We can't, don't necessarily need to go back and clean up all the connections that we've made, maybe. For smaller networks, I would say don't spend a lot of time worrying about that. People who have huge networks on LinkedIn, they may want to go and purge out those connections that are highly irrelevant to them. But how do we fix this moving forward? Well, it really comes down to three things. Number one, send out invites with purpose and intention. Send them out to people who are relevant to you and where you can get introduced to them first. That's number one, relevance, um, uh, purpose, and goal for sending out invites. Here's the second thing. When you accept an invite or before you accept an invite, figure out who that person is. Discover what is the relevance. Why do they want to connect? Why would you want to connect? And if you don't know that, figure it out or ask the question. There's a way of doing that on LinkedIn. Ask the person who sent you the invite, why do they want to connect? So that you're accepting invites with purpose and intention, focus on some mutually beneficial. And here's the third thing, engage, engage immediately. When you connect, look for a way to engage that LinkedIn member. And that your level of engagement should be directly proportional to the level of the perceived opportunity of this relationship. If IE, if they are potentially a client, your level of engagement should be at a whole nother level, might be a phone call. If they are not a potential client or not an influencer, it's just someone that you're connected with because you see that you like them or they're interesting, they're fun, they share good content, then your level of engagement will be much simpler. But the bottom line is you have to engage with every new connection you make in some meaningful way. We can't necessarily fix the problems of our past. We may be able to clean up the number of connections we have that are totally irrelevant, but we can absolutely change the way we do things moving forward so that one day you will be able to say, I want to connect with this guy named Teddy Burris, and I know six people that I can ask who can introduce me to him. That's rich. That is rewarding. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist and trainer, and I hope these ideas are helpful for you.